when we're scrapping is part of life right. So we happen to be the type of journalists to start a fight what? I was raised in Gleason's, I was in the priest But I beat the case with my sweet peak defense ah. You drinking if you think you beating us If I have to, I'ma put on margaritas Girl, Don't do it. I'm in the bar plays like I own it What you expected? The way I seized the moment they thought I was epileptic Damn. The fight game can't survive without me I throw shots that make fighters spit out their mouthpiece Never days off, nah. only days on yeah. I represent the hood like I'm Trayvon Ooh. These moments in boxing are so proper Like when Floyd told Oscar he beat his whole roster It's our action that speaks the loudest Though we the sweet scientists, they ain't nothing. nothing sweet about us Okay, fight fans, it's your boy Ak Barack, the sweet scientist on thisis50.com This is another edition We had some boxing affiliates in town And we figured this is the perfect time to talk some boxing Talk a little bit about, about their history on, on, on getting into the sport And some disagreements that I have with everybody here That I'm going to express today But uh, nevertheless, we have Marcos from Fight Hub Yes, good to be here I, I know your name is Eric, right? But you're known as boxing ego, right? What do you prefer ego. to be? How do you? They, people call me ego. Ego. Yeah. Ego. And um, what, what's your platform? Boxing ego. Boxing ego. Yeah. Radio Raheem. He got a whole bunch of platforms. Yeah, I don't so. know. <laughs> <laughs> he got seconds, scene, out. seconds out. He got Max boxing boxing. scene. Max box. Sports. We getting it all. A in. bunch of Go boxing down. shit. All right. Check so, some all over. But in any case, um, we respect all of these gentlemen here on on, on this uh, on this seating right here because. We, we, we feel like that boxing has been uh, basically a lot of these older journalists and a lot of these networks, they're kind of afraid of, uh, of, of, of the new generation to try something new. They're scared to, to give a, a guy an opportunity on, on, on a big network because he's young or maybe... This sounds um, a little personal right here. This yo. is personal, man. <laughs> this sounds a little personal. Who eats all of you to? networks? Are, nah, listen, I'm kidding, but... We respect all of you guys, and uh, we, we just watched uh, Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia. Everybody in here, I'm pretty sure, had uh, Danny Garcia winning. Uh, <laughs> all right, that's the end of the no, show. I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. It was just me. Hey, but, don't, um, don't, don't tell Angel that. <laughs> Flip that on you. Yeah, no, let, well, first, let, let's get on this right now. What rounds did you have this guy winning, man? No, How you have him winning seven not, rounds? That's not, crazy, man. We're not getting it. He that's had crazy. to win seven to win the fight. But what right? sevens you pick? I don't remember. I just watched. Oh, he's serious. Listen, I'm yeah, dead serious. serious. You yeah, said you're oh, serious. He I said, said you were joking, got man. Listen, let me tell oh, you guys wow. something, right? You guys, or did you watch the fight at home once you got home? Ringside. Yeah. No, no, no. Rings, F ringside. We were ringside too, but after. Did you watch it on the screen because you could get distracted? No. No, not at all. I was bored sitting ringside. I'm not going to go home and go to sleep to the shit. It was terrible. <laughs> all right, so your opinion doesn't count. You didn't watch it <laughs> at home. Watch it again. I watched it at home. So what do you? What was your take on it? I had Keith Thurman winning, but I think Keith like Thurman... Like every other normal person. Yeah, the only thing is the second half, I don't think Keith Thurman did himself any favors in terms of switching the game plan. His first game plan was working, and he made some changes, started to evade a lot. Kind of Canelo Lada-ish. Right, Ish. right. Got, you Reminded know, got me a, of that fight. Yeah, got on his bicycle, and I mean, it, it wasn't when it first started. The first round, I was like, "This is gonna be Sean Porter oh, versus Keith Thurman, part two. Right, right. And it was electric, and then it just kind of tapered off. Thurman did what he had to do to win. So, well, cool. I watched it again, and it. I still thought Thurman won convincingly, to be honest. You so know? you had him like, winning? You met, you yeah, had I had him winning ringside, and I had him winning at home. Like I was in a closet watching that had him win, you know what I'm saying? I'm watching it on my phone. I'm watching in slow motion. You like, can't give Garcia more than four rounds. Yeah, not even. Even if you even. want to be generous. Yeah. Well, honestly, when I watched the fight, I noticed Keith Thurman missing a lot of the shots and Danny catching shots. I noticed CompuBox numbers. Sometimes they count shots that land on the arm. Yeah, they do. Or, or yeah. All over the place. A lot of those shots weren't landing flush. I thought Danny wasn't getting credit for a lot of the counter shots that he was landing. Not to mention, you know, Keith Thurman being a little too uh, mobile, uh, in, in my opinion. That's boxing, though. What's, what's wrong yeah, with being yeah. mobile? Well, I mean, it, there's nothing wrong, but he wasn't effective with it. It was more like, he looked like the busier guy. Okay. He looked busy. Nah, when, when, so when Keith when landed a punch. Won, when, it, Danny won, what did he, when Danny lost, what did he say? He said, I thought I was pushing the fight. Right. I thought I was By not throwing punches? Who, how do you win by these things? These are <laughs> yeah. not words that wins fight. You, you should say, I thought I hit him more. 
He didn't say that. There's nothing yeah. wrong with boxing, is what I think Marcos is saying. But there is something wrong with running, is what I think you mean, is moving in those last yeah. three rounds. Like, he pulled a De La Hoya Trinidad. Oh, and he still won the fight, bad. like, mathematically. But I would not have been upset if he had gotten robbed. Because he robbed us of the fight that we all came to see. The reason Danny Garcia won the fight is because I have more respect for him at the end of the fight than I do Thurman. And Thurman could have oh, agree with me. He said that, that he won the fight. That, in that way, in that way, he won the he won the hearts and minds in my mind. Like he pushed the fight. He tried to make the fight for 12 rounds. He couldn't do it. He got out boxed. He got out numbered on the, on the rounds. But Thurman didn't close the show, and that's what we all came to see. We came to see two Warriors both trying to close the show, and when Thurman got ahead in the cards, he stopped fighting. And to me, but he's robbed the, the fans, so the judges should have robbed his ass. <laughs> this, is what I don't, this is what I don't understand. What he was doing in those first two rounds, three rounds or whatever, was his best work. So why derive from that? Because actually when he let off the gas or whatever you want to say. A he, body shot made him derive from yeah, that. Yeah, Danny Garcia started to actually win some rounds. So like what what was the purpose of well, switching I, the game? Kind of like that lawyer. I don't think that. he could have really kept up that momentum. You know what I'm saying? And then when, especially when your game plan originally. We did it with Porter. How can he had to. See, was on he, pushed, I, I he was that. pushed to the limit. And that's how we know that Porter is the one that initiated all of those fireworks. Oh, yeah. Right. That's you know what I'm saying? But I think he said, you know what? My game plan anyway is to box and move. You know, I see I can't knock the kid out. Let me back up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Danny don't go down light. light. Nah, no, man, you yeah, got a hell of a chin. Yeah. Oh. That's the one right. thing I came out of the fight. Like, right. 110%, Danny Garcia has a hell of a chin. Nice. He took some yeah. of those punches that... I think Flush. other other Even welterweights, he would have well, put well, on we saw, we saw that when he took Matisse's shots. Yeah. When the, and he, and mouthpiece. Mouthpiece. Yeah. 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 So it was nothing. Yeah. 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 In, in, in any case, moving on to that, that fight, we, it's, it, it's safe to say that we all agree that Danny won, right? Yeah. So listen, yeah. next, <laughs> uh, David Lemieux <laughs> and Curtis Stevens just fought. Yeah. Now, it was an explosive three rounds, in my opinion. I enjoyed watching that more than I did um, other uh, championship fights. I don't want to name any of them. Trying to burn no bridges here, but um, <laughs> I thought that Curtis Stevens was coming on on that on he that was. third round. He, he was landing oh, some yeah. good body shots. He was shots. doing really well. I was really surprised. I'll be honest. You guys are probably gonna be shit about this, but I opted not to watch the fight live. I, I went over and watched the UFC fight because I was telling get, everyone. Get, get the, the hell out of here! Get, get the, the hell out of here! here. <laughs> Give me your mic. <laughs> No, Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. You're going to admit that to all my fans? Yeah, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you guys why. Because Fight Hub. Yeah. yeah Fight Hub TV. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I knew he was going to knock him out. I knew it. And I was telling people, he's going to knock him out. It's not going to be competitive at all. Wow. Like, why? 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 Because he gets caught all the time. But he was more competitive against Triple G he than He doesn't have a chin anymore. That's why. He always gets caught. He but but when, caught. when has he been knocked out ever like that? Tri I mean, when well, Lemieux is a huge was, puncher. Listen, but when he fought Triple G, who's the hardest puncher in the division, he didn't, um, he he didn't go. He, 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 he got saying. dropped, but no, he, he got, got up and fought. Yeah, five but, more but, on his but you don't think that Gennady has some damage right there? But see, this is the thing. I think the glass chin and like don't have a chin. I think is is overused in the sport of boxing. I agree. People told me Tim Bradley didn't have a chin when he ate Ruslan's punch like that and was on his feet fighting. So I don't. I don't think Curtis Stevens lacks a chin, David Lemieux got cracks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If he hits anybody like Nobody that. Nobody has a, a chin. That's the thing about a chin. The button <laughs> is on the fucking chin. Nobody's got a temple either. It wasn't like Lemieux hit him with some tremendous power from the from hulking out. He hit him on the button. And if you hit anybody on the button, they go to sleep. And that's what happened. Uh, I don't agree. Uh, I don't agree. Some guys yeah. no yeah. punch. Some, yeah. some guys have a higher tolerance. Some guys have a higher tolerance. That's true. And some guys have no knockout power. Just like absolutely. Biology ah. says you hit a guy in the Yeah, you hit him hard enough. Blood, yeah. To his brain, he's going to pass on. Yeah. You don't care who you are. You hit yeah. a guy in a certain thing. It, it sounds chin, nice, but it doesn't brain. always hold true. Well, 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 let, let me throw, let let me throw this in there. Let me throw this. This is what I've heard from from a lot of old school trainers. You train the traps, you train the neck, and your ability to absorb blunt force trauma goes up because of that specific training. So there is guys because of that kind of training they can absorb more shock to the body. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that because I, I think the shot think, that really hurts I think you the most is naturally the shot born. You don't see coming. Exactly. You know, tolerance. And, and I think Antonio I think Margarito. Listen, naturally born with tolerance. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. But and then you got a guy that Mosley. like Shane Mosley that hurts him, and it's not even known to be a puncher. It's all about when you get hit with that shot at the right time. The stars got to line up because Curtis, that shot, I don't think he saw it coming. He, he leaned back. He was yeah, no, no, he, he hooked with the hooker and I mean, he put his hand down. Yeah, he put his hand 
now, which was a mistake. <laughs> that, yeah, I don't know why he did that. But yeah. He came in with a game plan that could have worked, but it would have had to it would have had to play out for three more rounds. He right. didn't have the time. Like, right. like Jeff, the mute right. on that button, right. but he took that chance. He went in saying, this guy's not going to hit me on the button. I can absorb block, right. absorb those Let shots, him get some let punch out. out right. And then I'm going to counter punch him to death and then come on once he gets yeah. gassed. I mean, if he doesn't get hit with that hook, it could be a whole different outcome. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How about yeah. his attitude after the fight, how he came on social media mm. you know, and addressed that. everybody. Addressed everybody, you know. I think that was some G shit. Well, shit, I think everybody thought he was dead after that hook, you know. He put in a stretcher and all that. Though, were you guys offended by well, well I was we, sportsmanship? Yeah, we lack were just talking about that. <laughs> yeah, so, so David Lemieux, I always respected him. I actually was rooting for him against Triple G, and uh, I interviewed him before the fight. Great guy, but I think he took a little too nah, far on social far, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little too far, bro. So just be on the lookout for my Instagram boxing with Octa video. It's coming soon. I'm gonna I'm send you a little reminder. But um, in any case, well, can I speak on that though? Because I baited you into that one. I knew people were gonna be offended by that. I wasn't offended by that because pre-fight, like there's hype, there's you know trying Don't to everybody get talk shit, shit talk because everybody talks shit. But this guy set up like a, a go fund me, page for yeah, a hospital <laughs> that's bill. savage. Yeah. That's that's savage. Yo, did he do that? His fans, you know what I mean? Nah, I think no, he, he, did did he did that. He did that. He did that. Ego did that. He didn't do that. You did. That's it. You know, he's calling people. Bitches, I was there when he was calling him a bitch. Like he's from Brooklyn, Brownsville. Come right, but that's like saying my homie. Yeah, and then you get slapped in the third round. Like, don't expect him to run over and try to comfort your mother. Yeah, like give him thirty <laughs> minutes to like dance on your grave, and then be like, I hope. They no, die. but he's still doing he's it putting on the social media. media. No, he's I thought, I thought in his post fight, like, he said like, oh, I hope he's fine. Yeah, like, I oh, yeah. yeah. But, but do you guys yeah. follow him on Instagram? They put up like a yeah. his Instagram. I do, I do. But he said it. He said it in the biggest way you could possible after the fight. You know, he said like, yeah, I, I hope he's home. fine. He's like, yeah, he said, like, I hope he gets home to his family. Are coming out now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now shoot for TV. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's to keep the checks coming. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's safe to say that this, this year, uh, it's on paper, boxing is great, right? Oh, Even yeah. Oh, yeah. in the ring. Yeah. I know you guys didn't find that fight to be uh, super entertaining, but I did. Uh, Thurman match. Garcia. Danny I'm Garcia. talking about Thurman Garcia. I thought it was a great, a great. I liked it. I liked it. I I enjoyed it. Yeah, and it sets the tone. The best is fighting the best. Yeah, right. You know, you know, on Thurman, the matchup was there. It was the right venue. They put it on network television. I mean, what else you want to do? Then it's just up to the fighters to deliver on what they promised. You call yourself one time, and then you show up sometime. You can't do that. Good thing it had 5.1 million viewers, right? So that's good for us. Oh yeah. I'm excited. Get a check. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wasn't so good for me. Not, 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 not yet, not yet. But from the beginning of the year, from uh, Badu Jack to Gale, I Ooh. thought it started off with a bang. Tank kudos Davis. to yes, thank Frampton kudos to Showtime and Espinosa. Yes. That's right. a great fight too. It, it, yeah. Exactly. Yes. So, Mikey Garcia, the yeah. last knockout. So, so are we heading in the direction where boxing is gonna? Be at the forefront again, like to the. Yeah. I would say the like best in sport a, in, in the, the world, like it right. used to be. Well, I think it's always been, but mainstream America, they weren't aware of it. You know what I mean? <coughs> Even in the years where I guess people say boxing was at its lowest, um, there were still great fights in the mix of that, but people didn't know about it. The heavyweight championship is right. the crown jewel. And if the heavyweight championship's not exciting, if the heavyweight division's not exciting, Americans are just not gonna buy in. But, like, but, but why? You, I hate, I'm sick of hearing that shit. Uh, Cause man, it's just listen, true, we got I'm Wilder, we fight. got Anthony Joshua, they're knocking everybody it's out. What else is there? That's why I'm saying what you're oh, saying is well, it, back. It, it helps, you know, but that's the other thing though. He's right on that. We want to see big motherfuckers just beat the shit out of each other. It's right, just naturally right. in us, you know? Right. Uh, but, but, but the, the thing with, well, 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 I was going to get to that too. Joshua, I think, might have a little trouble. And I'll tell you the only reason why, because he's not American. Right. Yes, he speaks English, but he's not American. People, right. I think, are rooting behind Deontay in right. terms of that. Now, to me, it doesn't matter. Like, look at Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard wasn't a heavyweight. And he captivated a whole country. But he had other dance partners. I, I think if... It's just the best have to fight the best consistently and you got to get rid of all these organisms with all these alphabet titles. Right. That's the first thing because I think right. that's a lot of the thing that's stopping the best fighting the best. Yep. And then it's and the promoters. guys can be stars in the sport, but you need a heavyweight champion to bring people to the sport itself. The heavyweight champion is the crown jewel of sports. I, I, Hold I, on, I, 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 I agree. You all right, I agree. Rating, okay. Bring people to other weight divisions in the sport. Okay, but wait, Floyd Mayweather had no heavyweight around right. and he became the star of the sport, the, the draw of the sport. I know he had dancing partners, you know, alluding to what you said, but at the end of the day, like Felix Trinidad, explosive, he wasn't an American fighter, so to speak, though Puerto Rico has his ties to America, but he was a star, <coughs> he was a draw in the garden, pay-per-view, 
Um, he, even when he didn't fight Oscar, when he fought like uh, um, you well, know, but you can do his Puerto Rican logic. He was not a star. He wasn't a De La Hoya. He wasn't a Floyd. A guy that wasn't a Sugar Ray Leonard. A guy that didn't speak English for what he accomplished. Yeah, you know where he lives at now? One guy like Floyd, who's an anomaly <laughs> in almost every category, being a superstar on his own, but he didn't bring people to boxing. He brought people to Floyd matches. People didn't watch boxing because Floyd was in it. That's the difference between the heavyweight championship and everything else. He was the sport wasn't like bustling because Floyd was in it. People were, were a point at watching point. Floyd's That's fight. That's an excellent point. Yeah, they, they were watching Floyd's fights because they wanted to see him get beat up. They wanted to see him right, right, right. Need, right. Which, is, which is still attractive. Yeah. Yeah. Which is still attractive. But, but Same thing with here's Ali. a flip side on that. How do you explain someone like Manny Pacquiao becoming a superstar? Thank Here's a guy from the Philippines. Point. I'm gonna tell you Didn't because he had, that, he had that reign, not Royds, but he had that <laughs> reign. He had that reign of Low knocking blow. bigger guys out. That, that's you know what, what I was gonna and get. I, I and was on the train. And that right. gets, was that gets back to my original point. Combat sports, at the very core, we as human beings we'll are a curious, violent. curious species. We right. want to see people get fucked up. We right. want to see yeah, people get the, out. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how heavy you are. No, as you yeah. if you're lurking, if you're Nassim, hurting, Nassim, Nassim, Nassim Hamed, Nassim. Nassim. come in there dancing yeah. with his G-string, yeah. 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 knocking yeah. people out. That's true. Yeah. Roy yeah. Jones. Yeah. Roy he, he Jones. Yeah, and, and, and not to mention that the heavyweight division is kind of, the, the fighters I mean, don't have, but they're not that, they're not as talented as the Holyfields and the Riddick Bowes in that era. And I always say it, you know, Riddick Bowes. Let me say it like this. They might not be as technical as those right. guys, but I think those as athletes, as a whole, system. athletes now are better than ever. Yeah, but Back you gotta translate, athletically. Athletically. But, but you gotta yeah. translate that in the yeah. ring. And it's changed. You know what I mean? and in the ring. Conditioning has changed, yeah. boxing has changed, big guys have changed. Because all of the steroids basketball. and the food. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> that's I the truth. the opposite. I think it's actually like zeroed in real specific training. Yeah. They have so many more things that they can do now to make a very specific type of body for a specific sport. More drugs. So these guys, <laughs> more <laughs> more <laughs> they're less like, you know, neighborhood boxers. They didn't come up from four years old scrapping in the streets boxing. Now they're athletes who've learned how to box. It's that's what Michael Jordan is kind of saying. Even you know? the frames, you look at like the Jack Johnsons, Rocky Marciano, they be tiny next yeah. to Tyson yeah, Fury and Wilder. Current, yeah. Absolutely. Like these dudes are huge. We got Andrew giants. Joshua looks like a bodybuilder. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, what, what, well, look, uh, we're talking about knockouts. Triple G, Brooklyn's own Daniel Jacobs, who beat cancer a few years back, and he's now fighting for the unification in the middleweight division. Um, this is a guy from Kazakhstan, right? Um, not American, speaks very little English, and HBO is pushing the shit out of this guy. I mean, he's he, how many knockouts in a row? 23, 23 something 23. like that? 23. <laughs> 23. 23. Right. This, yeah. how, how many um, Class A fighters did he knock out? 20 zero. Nothing. <laughs> None. <laughs> no, no. Listen, and this is not a shot at Triple G at all. I think he's an excellent fighter. Oh, absolutely. He's impressive. Um, I, I, I think that he's getting a little more credit than he deserves, but you have to it. have somebody to push, right? We have to, if you're a network, if you're uh, uh, if you're in the business, you want people to look at a guy that's knocking people out to be a star. Yeah. You want people to watch, you want people to come to the to the venue. So I, I get it, but I have my feelings about, about that, Barack. But do you think he's let's, ducking people? You think he's not fighting like better? Yes, I think he, I think, I, well, well, I think he ducked um, Andre, uh, Andre Ward. Ward. Should I break it down? Yeah, oh, you probably down, already know. Yeah, break it down. He was willing to fight Chavez and Frotch at 168. Game done. But he, won, he, but he was asking to up to fight but he, Chavez. But, but he was asking go Ward to come down on 164. I'd say that's smart. This motherfucker's oh. like middleweight champion. So he's that dodging. I'm going to call that negotiate. So he complained about Canelo doing it to Khan. I mean, look, that's the shit. And you're trying to get somebody to come to you to play himself. I complain. What is it for him to go up to 68 and take like Ward's title when he's a multiple title holder at 60? Nobody can fuck with him. He's clearing out his division. He hasn't unified all the belts yet. And Ward's the one screaming for the fuck. But you're not asking to answer the question. Did he duck? Ward. I don't think he did duck Ward. Okay, so you, what's your opinion? Not come to terms oh, he, with he duck, he duck Ward for I, His sure. position <laughs> to me is legitimate. I'm middleweight champion. Why am I going to vacate, or not vacate, but uh, you know, uh, eliminate myself from my titles and come chase you? I'm, I'm a bigger But superstardom! But stardom! Bigger draw than Ward. That's what stars and do! Yes, yes. Ward was all clamoring for the fight. He's the bigger star, and you want him to go uh, uh, chase okay. Ward? See, this is what's wrong with boxing. With, with people, 
with their like whatever fighter that they want, they'll accept it. You know what I mean? Like right. so, we should have no problem with Canelo saying Triple G come down to 155. Right? Why did Why didn't he come down to 155? But it's no down 155 high. title. Okay, Wait, so what? There was no 164 but, title but, either. But, but, he said he will fight Floyd. No, Mayweather he actually had, had the title. But here's the, the thing, he though. He, Floyd no, he had the 160. No, he had. Here's the. He had the 160 title. He said come down to 155. Thing though with that. Yeah. Gennady's not calling himself. He a did super have middleweight. That That's the thing. Gennady's not calling himself a super middleweight right now. He had the Canelo one, was he had calling the himself title. a middleweight, and Canelo had the lineal title. Yes. When right. you're a lineal champion, when you beat the man who beat the man who beat the man, there's not only a burden, but a responsibility to maintain that. that that's what gives everything that these fighters fight for and work for legitimacy. When you're the man who beat the man who beat the man, do what others have done onto before you. Cotto gave you that chance. Martinez gave Cotto that chance. You know, carry that kids, torch. Right? Yeah, but Give this other guy the they chance. They fought that fight Cotto for Canelo at yeah. 150. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> we still, agree. He's still, it's we not like he was at 160 and went down. No, I don't want to fight you now. It's, 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 not, it's not, not like we don't not calling himself a super middleweight. Canelo okay, is saying so, he's a, he's a okay, middleweight. But I fight at 155. I'm the middleweight champion of the world, but I fight at 155. What's your standpoint on Golovkin? Flat rate of fifteen million dollars to face Canelo. Oh, it's a slap in the face. Why? why? What do you mean why? why? Well, how how much, are you serious? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna break it down. Wait, wait, hold on. 